A Japanese research team has built a humanoid robot that resembles the intricate muscular and skeletal structure of a human body, making it capable of mimicking human activities like push-ups and sit-ups. The researchers at the University of Tokyo's JSK lab studied human anatomy to map the structure of the human mimetic humanoid, the named kangaroo, the most advanced version of a series they've created since 2001. Kangaroo doesn't boast of any supernatural dynamism like backflipping or heavy lifting, but with 174 maneuverable joints powered by 116 motors and even a cooling system that resembles the way a human being sweats, Kangaroo can demonstrate complex body movements that no other humanoid robots can match. Okay. The mechanic data collected from kangaroo sensors can help better understand the mechanism behind human body movement and the way our neutral network controls them. Researchers also see potential applications in making better crash test dummies, improving sports analytics and entertainment users in theme parks or film. Autonomous vehicles and components on display at the North American International Auto Show showed how far technology has come but left many questions about how soon it might be available to consumers on a larger scale. Autonomous vehicles are still under development but it's going so fast and I think this is faster than any technology we've ever seen in the past because the news between uh, you know, a span of three months can change dramatically. So I think that a lot of automakers are scrambling trying to develop their technology but on the other hand we need to have the laws in place, insurance in place and all those infrastructure things as well because it's not just about automaker technology. It'll be a long time before we have them in our driveway and when we do it might not, we won't own them. Somebody else will own them, we'll have a subscription service, we'll have a pay by the mile kind of service. The whole business model for acquiring transportation will change but I think that's way farther off than the talk we hear. Autonomous vehicle maker Navia says it has 65 driverless vehicles being used in pilot programs around the world including on campus at the University of Michigan and test programs in Las Vegas. So behind me here is uh, Navia's Autonom shuttle. It's a 15 passenger fully autonomous electric shuttle bus. Um, so this is really used uh, for first mile, last mile type of micromobility applications. Autonomous vehicle insiders say the innovations in the technology are moving faster than regulations that are often outdated and restrict the technology from progressing. The Trump administration plans to unveil revised self-driving car guidelines this summer as the government sets out to rewrite regulations that pose legal barriers to robot vehicles. So we've got several systems that make the vehicle able to perceive its environment, uh, make the decisions, and then act upon those decisions. So in, able to, in order to perceive the environment, we have different sensors like LiDAR um, and machine vision cameras that are able to scan the environment, pick out any obstacles that it may need to avoid. General Motors, Alphabet, Toyota, and many other companies are aggressively pursuing self-driving car technologies and wants Congress and regulators to remove barriers to the vehicles. You can actually make out uh, humans and uh, other objects in the environment with our sensor. Um, and so really what we're doing this for is for the computers to be able to see it and this is a ton of data. And because it is 3D data, you can also see here on the right hand side from the same sensor an aerial view of the show floor. So that's what makes LiDAR such a powerful tool. It essentially creates a 3D model of the environment around the vehicle instantaneously. Makers are investing in autonomous technology and see the tremendous revenue potential in the emerging industry, including in e-commerce, infotainment, large-scale usage at airports, theme parks, as well as ride-sharing services. Hi, I'm Madison, a member of Main Mobility's group of driverless cars. Thanks for coming to check me out today.